What's up guys, Thomas from FT86 Speed Factor, and you guys have sent us hundreds of comments, so we're finally doing the supercharger video. So let's dive right into it. A supercharger is the other option for forced induction other than a turbocharger. And the main thing that separates the two is that a supercharger is run from the engine, unlike a turbo that is run from the exhaust gases. However, that supercharger is being run by the engine, so the engine has to work a little bit harder to spin that turbo. So you're gonna have to sacrifice a little bit of horsepower to gain that boost. So why would you choose a supercharger over a turbo, especially now that you know that a supercharger is gonna be robbing some power away from the engine? Well, first, a supercharger is gonna give you that power right away, and the power delivery is gonna be nice and linear, unlike a very peaky turbo system that sometimes will give you all the power within a small 1,000 RPM window. Now, some superchargers are gonna give you that nice supercharger whine, and with all superchargers, they're not gonna require you to replace or swap out the exhaust system, which is perfect for you guys if you've already invested in a nice aftermarket header. The first supercharger was made by the Roots Brothers in the 1860s and surprisingly they named it the Roots Supercharger. Now the Roots Supercharger is a positive displacement supercharger that creates a consistent amount of boost no matter the engine speed. So if you have a Roots Supercharger that's made to produce 5 PSI, it's going to make that 5 PSI at 3000 RPMs, it's going to make that same 5 PSI at 6000 RPMs. So it's going to be consistent no matter what RPMs you're at. Another positive displacement supercharger is the twin screw, and twin screws and root superchargers are often confused. They both have two spinning rotors inside, but internally they operate completely differently. A root supercharger feeds air from the top and shoves it out the bottom by scooping the air with its rotors and pumping it around the outside of the rotors, while a twin screw brings the air from the side, compresses it in between the rotors, and pushes it out the bottom. Both of these positive displacement superchargers are great at making instant power at those low RPMs, but neither of them really shine at making a lot of power at the top end. For that, you're gonna need a centrifugal supercharger. At a quick glance, a centrifugal supercharger might actually look like a turbo, but if you look at the backside, you're gonna notice that it looks weird and there's a pulley in its place. So think of a centrifugal supercharger as a turbo with the hot side removed, and in its place is a pulley that's connected to a belt on your crankshaft. Now this type of supercharger is still gonna give you power right off the bat. You're still gonna be making boost instantly, but it's gonna slowly, gradually increase the amount of boost it's making as the RPMs increase. So you're gonna make way better top end power, but you're not gonna have that low end instant punch as a positive displacement supercharger. So over here, I have a positive displacement supercharger and a centrifugal supercharger. This is the Cosworth twin screw supercharger. And over here, this is a Rotex supercharger, a part of the Jackson racing kit. Now at some point, you're gonna have to decide which kind of supercharger you want. And it's greatly gonna have to depend on how you wanna make your horsepower. With a positive displacement, you're gonna have that low end grunt. And that might be good for street driving when you're spending most of your time at the lower RPMs. But maybe you're doing a lot of track driving on the weekends, you want that high RPM. PM with that top end power and then maybe a centrifugal will make the most sense. Now there's a couple other things I want to mention about superchargers. The first is how they cool down the charged air. With a centrifugal supercharger, you use an air-to-air -air intercooler, which is typically the same that's on a turbo system that's usually found behind the bumper in a front mount configuration. But when you get to a positive displacement supercharger like a Roots or a twin screw, you usually use a heat exchanger or a liquid to air intercooler. So you'd have something that looks kind of like a small radiator up front that would have cool air. It would send it it up into the intake manifold here. It runs some cool liquid through here and it cool down the air as it exits out of the supercharger before it gets into the combustion cylinder. Now the other thing I wanted to mention was how to turn the boost up on the superchargers and you do that with installing a smaller pulley. This is a smaller pulley for the Cosworth kit. It's 10% smaller than this pulley right here, which is gonna make the blower turn more times, spin more times per the same rotation of the crankshaft. So one rotation will equal 10% more uh, boost, which is about like a pound and a half of extra boost, which equates to 15 to 20 more horsepower, which is pretty awesome since this only costs like a hundred bucks and that's a pretty good gain for just a hundred bucks. And you don't need to retune your ECU in order to install one of these. So two great benefits for just one small pulley. And actually this small pulley plus 
an Ecutec tuner is going to be on sale with this and it's going to be on sale for less than the normal base price. You get one of these, which actually they stopped making one of these. There's only like a handful of these left and I mean, that'd be a, a that's just pretty good to buy. So it's going to be down in the description if you want to learn more about that. So now I want to give you a quick rundown on the power numbers you can expect to have with each of the kits on our website. Now some of them are going to be carb certified, some of them come with their own tunes, others you need a tune it yourself option. We sell tunes as well, that's another option. All of them are intercooled, all the ones on our website are intercooled or have at least the option to be intercooled. So let's go ahead and start with the positive displacement superchargers. The Stage 2 Cosworth kit that I mentioned earlier is a twin screw system that adds 80 horsepower or 100 horsepower with that pulley upgrade. The Edelbrock Supercharger is a roots blower, it has its own intake system, and it makes 242 wheel horsepower and 186 foot pounds. The Sprintex 210 Twin Screw Supercharger has a 1 liter compressor making 270 horsepower and 192 foot pounds. For the centrifugal kits out there, we've got the Jackson Racing C38. They state it operates silently, it is carb legal and increases horsepower by 50% and torque by 45%. The HKS GT V3 makes 251 horsepower and 212 foot pounds on 91, but you can push that all the way to 319 horsepower and 234 foot pounds with 85 and larger 900cc injectors. The Craftworks kit adds 90 wheel horsepower on 91 octane or 125 horsepower on 85. And the Vortex supercharger system that almost has an OEM look to it doesn't actually have official power numbers, but when I did some searching on the forums, I found that it makes around 250 wheel horsepower and 180 foot pounds. So on average, most of these kits are gonna give you somewhere between the 250 and 300 wheel horsepower mark. And this is for a completely bolt on kit, meaning you don't have to mess with fuel injectors or your fuel pump, just simple bolt on horsepower. However, you can push these supercharger kits past the 300 horsepower mark. You will need injectors and a fuel pump, but 85 is definitely a good way to go if it's available in your area. But if you have any questions about that, or you just want help picking out your supercharger, feel free to send us an email at sales at ft86speedfactory.com. I'll have the links to all our superchargers in the description below and the link if you want to check out the sale on this Cosworth kit. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. This is Thomas and I'll see you guys in the next video. So if you've already invested in nice <laughs> use a liquid to air intercooler, f you train. And with all superchargers, you're going to have, oh, f I forgot.